So this is what a landmark is. It's an important, recognizable object or features. And you have some of them right here in your own country, right? I just named two of them, just so that you can have <clears throat> a better view of what we're talking about. You have a Victoria statue, you have an independent square, and you have many landmarks, am I correct? In Sri Lanka? Okay. So let's talk about a few in America. <clears throat> now we talked about the Disney land Hollywood when we were talking about California. So, they say that this is the most magical place on the earth. <laughs> Disney, <laughs> Disneyland, why? When you go to this amusement park, you feel real happy at Disneyland. You feel like you're in a dream. Everybody there. You, you, you feel like it's just magical. You don't even want to leave when you're at Disneyland. Can you remember me telling you in Florida also, we have this place? So we have two of, we, yeah, in America we have two of them. <coughs> this one's in California, but the same thing exists in Florida. And on that map, Florida was there. So, it's a small world inside of that. Sleeping Beauty is inside of there. Fantasy Island is in there. Uh, Harry Potter has a house inside of there. Okay. Uh, Toontown, Dump the Flying Elephant is inside of there. You know, California really is an entertainment state. There's always things going on there. And so many people travel to California every year to go inside of the amusement park there. Do you know Mickey? Everybody knows Mickey. And you know Donald Duck? <laughs> And you know Minnie? Yeah. <laughs> and you know Snoopy? Yeah. And who is that? Goofy. There you go. <laughs> okay, so if you go to Disneyland, go early in the morning because you won't leave. I'm telling you by the end of the day. So you it's a creative. It's a creative, colorful place. And when you go there, you're gonna feel connected you're gonna feel pure joy, okay? You got a glimpse of what Disneyland and Disney World looks like. Okay, second place. You have the iPod or should I just roll it? The mouse. Just roll the mouse, yeah, yeah that's what I was. Yeah, there it is, Universal Studios. Have you heard of Universal Studios? This is where the world of movies and TV shows occur. There's a world of Harry Potter inside also, okay, in the studio. Um, Universal Studios, you have a secret life of pets inside. You've got um, just museums inside of this. It's another fascinating place to go inside um, you have an immerse, uh, you have a great experience when you go inside of the Universal, Universal Studios. Do you know Minion Mayhem? Munion Mayhem. Munion Mayhem is inside of there. <clears throat> and there's two sections in the Universal uh, Studio Park. There's a super city inside of there. There's a, this is called a universal globe. Universal globe, universal studios. Munion City, Harry Potter, a world of movies, and a world of TV shows are inside of Universal Studios.
They also have a secret life of pet, uh, like a pet shop in there, a pet store, a pet museum. Now this is a really fantastic zoo. And I know it's the large, I thought it was the largest zoo in the world, but I know it's the largest zoo in the, the United States, the San Diego Zoo. Let me see, did I bring the full picture up? Yeah. This is a, a fantastic zoo. I've been to this zoo, and they have a bus that travels inside of the zoo. It's the double-decker bus. So the bus is two, two buses on top of, looks like, it's one bus, but it's a first level and a second level, and the bus will take you through the, do, the zoo. You can even have your birthday party at the zoo. You can have your birthday party. You can spend the night at the zoo. Um, you can have any type of event. Everything is going on at the zoo. And the zoo was founded in 1916, 1916. <clears throat> it's in Balboa Park in San Diego. You know how many years that zoo is old? 100 years old, the zoo is. Every animal and creature is inside of the zoo. You have insects in there. You have animals in there. You have crocodiles in there, foxes in there, prairie dogs in there, elephants in there, tigers, bears, gorillas, monkeys. The largest zoo in America is San Diego Zoo. They have 14 thousand animals, creatures, inside of that zoo, okay? 14,000 endangered species. And people from all over the world comes to this zoo, okay? It's a beautiful zoo. On, in this zoo, they have a theater. I've been to this thing. You can watch, um, they have movies going on. You can watch, do you know what 3D is? The 3D, when you put the glasses on? You can watch movies in 3D in there. All right. We've got one more to talk about, and then we will review. We'll do a, a good review, and then you can come and tell us about what you're seeing, what you uh, gathered today. Now, I've been here two years ago. Knox Berry Farm is really exciting. Knox Berry Farm. This is the first theme park in California. It's always something happening at this park. Something is always going on. And really, Knoxbury Park, Knoxbury Farm rather, is about, their theme is the Wild West. So the Wild West, 1940s, 30s, cowboy time, that's their theme. They have rides, look at the rides, you can see some of them. They roll, yeah, <laughs> yeah, they got the roller coaster, they got the water slide, and they have sensational entertainment. This is a, they've got about 40 rides in this place. Captures your imagination just by looking at it. There's a ghost town inside. There's a fiesta village. And it's a place, Snoopy's in there too as well. Charlie Brown is in there. Lots of food is there. Um, just, just, Always something going on, live entertainment. Snoopy's walking around, Charlie Brown's walking around. So when you go there, they come up and they hug you, okay? It's a lot of fun here. So another place 
people travel to when they come to California because all of these places that we mentioned today are in California. Disney World, Los Angeles, Universal Studios is in Los Angeles too.